Good morning, welcome to Rocks Chat. Tracy here, and if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. So, ridiculously early again, ridiculously. Um, this one doesn't, it's not plugged in, but um, it was six something last time I looked at the clock and uh, I woke up at half past one. Half past one, what is that all about? Mind you, because I was up most of the night, the night before, I went to bed at half past seven. Well, about quarter to eight actually, yesterday evening. Was falling asleep in the chair, so, and I did go straight off to sleep, but I woke up around half past one and I couldn't get back off again. Just couldn't get back off. Mind was, you know, all over. So that was it, got up. After a while, um, <laughs> not been doing the washing, hanging it up, um, <laughs> unboxing stuff, which I was going to do um, an unboxing video, but I can't. It's just it was just too big and bulky, so um, I had to manoeuvre it to get it out of boxes. But I did so. I did a little short um, for for Rocksteady, and I said that I would sort of show them once I knew what I was doing with them really um I kind of yesterday um started a little training course now you know sometimes if you've been with me for a little while you know that I do these kind of little training courses from time to time um when I first started hobby rocks I um was kind of uh well before I started I was nearly on this enterprise scheme run by, by our local council i just thought it was for the government you know and you could get it anywhere but no and it was um a small business kind of thing and it, it they help you every step of the way and you've got a little bit of money not massive monthly um it was negligible you wouldn't be able to do anything with it um but because you are showing that you are trying to get a job they gave you this money and then you had mentors and they they sort of walked you through the whole process. Well, I missed out on that because at the time that that was going to happen, it was all over lockdown when I was looking into it. And then my house sold. And so I had too much money to um, to qualify for any assistance at all. So that was the end of that. Um, and then when I thought, OK, I might, I'm going to see if I can get back into it again. They don't do anymore. So um, they got me in touch with uh, this local housing authority who run courses. And that's what I've been doing. Every now and then they'll do one, whether it's on um, social media or taxation or whatever. They, they do these like little networking ones. and But they're usually for a day. And they're not the whole day, you know. Um, sometimes they're two you know two days but they're not kind of that involved so I was asked you know they, they put me in touch with this other one and said would you like to do this course and I said yeah sure yeah yeah and it started yesterday and I nearly forgot but because I was up earlier I saw the email that said your course is starting soon um, and luckily I'd done my video because I got up really early and so it didn't really impact me yesterday well, it did in the afternoon. So luckily I'd pre-recorded that Open With Me book review to pop up at some time. So I thought, oh, well, I'll, I'll do that then. I'll use that book as yesterday's video. But I was going to film an Open With Me for a new magazine. So they broke for an hour lunch. So I thought, right, I'll film that <laughs> kind of thing and uh, get that out of the way. So I did that little then and, and another little unboxing for Rocksteady and by that time lunch break was over and I went back so I thought you know I found out that it's for two weeks and you know that's such a lot of commitment it's not the fact that I don't want to do it I really really do want to do it and if they said oh it's for two days this week two days the following week that would be fine well it wouldn't be fine at this time of year but you know that would be fine but two weeks at this time of the year that's just 
heavy man heavy and uh but why well, you know there's people have got things planned so i said you know what if you can't make a day and they said well we run them all the time so just uh, apply for another one and then dip in those days that you missed or just repeat whatever ones you want to repeat so that's cool at least i can do that but um friday is the one i really really want to see because it's all about tax and um there are people all over the world on this course it's a zoom course there are 250 people on it and um it's quite a lot of them are in other countries so you know things like the taxation won't really apply to them but um yeah some of the days i'm really kind of looking forward to and um some of them i'm gonna have to reschedule sort of thing but wow <laughs> two weeks i don't know you know i suddenly started thinking you know what about making stuff <coughs> because doing that is one thing but it still means that you know like i've got to cook dinner so yesterday it wasn't such a, a, a thing because we were having steak which you can't cook ahead of time anyway but today it's minted lamb shank or minted lamb so i'm gonna to have to put that in the slow cooker and then when we have this break for lunch um i don't know maybe do everything else and ready to sort of put on as soon as it finishes <laughs> oh yeah so and i'll have to try my best to cram my filming in which is going to be a bit bit of a mission a bit of a mission especially if i can't sleep my <laughs> just should be just it should be brilliant should have all the time in the world it's just that i'll be like this oh let's do the joke the joke of the day right let's see um i started out with nothing and i pretty much have most of it left <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh but true really isn't it and i was just saying you know whenever i spend too much money or oh it's it can't take it with you which is true you can't but um you know i hate having zero money you know i can't I, I get very panicky when i know that should the car go wrong or whatever i don't have money to fix it or you know get out of trouble money so if i if that ever happens then i'm kind of like panicky i know that there's always they say you're three paychecks short of being on the streets so they <laughs> Charming. I've got to live in the Yana van if that ever happened. Not that it would. Oh dear. So yeah, I'm a bit, bit kind of uh, amused by my my own kind of sleeplessness. I don't honestly know why. You know, sometimes when you've got a worry and your mind won't shut down and it's doing that thing. Well, I can't imagine what it is that's. Uh, there's a couple of like obviously medical little niggles that I have that's it you know there aren't any other any other things kind of impacting on it and you know last night i thought in case it's gary that wakes me up kind of when he's getting ready for work and he does do a bit of washing up and stuff like that if there's any left and and he's not the most quiet person you know he, he lumps about and um you know if he puts things away they slam and he clashes plates together you know it's very noisy so um he does his best to be quiet in the mornings but I, I thought well maybe it's just in case it's gary you know getting up flushing the loo you know doing all the things that you do when you wake up um that wakes me up i put earplugs in last night and uh, so nothing was noisy nothing was penetrating my my senses to get through and wake me up and yet i've buzzed one Bing! Wide awake. Been up hours now. You know, I've done so much. <laughs> it's crazy. I find you I need to, don't I? All day courses. Oh my God, I don't know how I'm going to cope. Well, we just have to see. Maybe I won't. Maybe I won't. 
but uh, you know it's a zoom and some some of it i found like oh okay maybe i can do a little bit of work while we're doing this you know perhaps um they won't notice sort of thing because it doesn't always all apply does it to everybody my hair's dropped out this morning it's just a bit you know odd waves now it was drop started dropping during the like evening sort of thing well early off af late afternoon early evening it's still, <laughs> it's still a bit wavy but i can't be doing with doing it every day i'm actually really hungry i think it's because you know to me it's lunchtime now <laughs> that's what it feels like lunchtime it's like whoa so by the time she says oh should we break for lunch i think it's bedtime what are you talking about bedtime it'll feel that way i don't know anyway i haven't got much to tell you because you know there's not much going on apart from you know courses and rain oh it's so depressing it doesn't stop it's really bleh out there nasty weather i just want a nice little dry spell to kind of dry up those puddles out there because it Having a dirt road, you know, if you've ever had a dirt road, then you'll know it, it's it's no fun. It's just a mud a mud swamp, really. Anyway, I'm going to get off, upload this, and um, probably fall asleep. <laughs> I honestly don't know what's going on with me at the moment. So um, I might give the, if I can remember, dermatologist a bit of a call later on and see if the results of my blood tests are in because it was those guys that asked for them. Um, I do have to go back soon for the patch test, but it's probably going to be somebody different from the person I saw. So, you know, whether they'd give them to me there and then, I don't know. But I'm going to try, see if there's any any news on, on anything. So thank you for watching. And I'm sorry that I'm just, well, a zombie is the word. Uh, that's how I feel. It's like, I know I'm tired. This part of me is it's a bit sore because I know I'm tired. It's just that, you know, sleep is evading me. But I am getting like four or five hours. And I always used to thrive on five. Thrive on five. Didn't know I was a poet, did you? But yeah, that when I worked for the ambulance service, that's all I ever got, five hours. But on a night shift or a day, um, my sleep's in between. If I slept five hours during the day, I was lucky. Never used to get that much, but I tried. <laughs> I tried earplugs, everything, and blackout blinds. So I used to try get five. Five, you know, is actually not a bad amount. Um, I do get tired earlier because eight hours is the optimum for me. Some people are like really good on whatever, but for me, it's five and eight. Funny that, isn't it? It's like they've got little numbers that. Get six hours, feel all full. Get five hours, feel okay. It's crazy, really. Anyway, I'm off and I will see you soon. Wish me luck today. I don't know what the um, topic is. I've got it written down somewhere. Let's see if I can find it. Um, leaflet flying around. Let's write it down. Probably won't be able to understand it. I don't know, like that. Oh, heavens. Um, no, that's not it. Um, I can't see it. No, nope, I can't find it. I, oh yeah, hang on. Is this it? Nope. <laughs> oh my lord. Never mind. But I do have a little bit of, um, I suppose you can call it homework. So I'm going to go upload this and um, do my homework. Like a good little girl. See you on the next one. Bye for now.